Okay, problem 7.74. We have a small object with mass 0 0.09 kilogram, and it moves along the positive x-axis. And we have that the only force acting on it is a conservative force with potential energy function negative ax squared plus bx cubed, where we have alpha and b defined here. And the object is released from rest at small x, and when it says small x, we can assume very close to zero is what it means. And when the object is at four meters, uh, or the speed acceleration of the object. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna say conservative force means that we're gonna have a uh, conservation of energy um, between the uh, point, zero, point zero and point four here. So that means I can write uh, potential energy at point zero, zero plus the kinetic energy at point zero equals the potential energy at, at uh, four, x equals four, plus the kinetic energy at x equals four. Okay, so we can immediately find out what some of these things are. Uh, we have the potential energy function. We can just plug in zero. So you use zero equals something times x squared times something plus times x cubed. So that's zero plus zero. So that's equal to zero. Uh, we're told that the energy is released from rest, so we can assume that the kinetic energy is equal to zero at x equals zero. Okay, then so that becomes zero plus zero equals u4 plus k4. Uh, so we need to figure out what the speed is, so we need to figure out what u4 is. So u, uh, u at x equals four, basically just plug in another four, equals negative two. Uh, times 4 squared uh, plus b time let's see and then a b is 0 0.3 0 0.3 times 4 cubed and that comes out to be uh, 12.8 negative 12.8 joules okay so bring that all down here we have 0 0 plus 0 equal to negative 12.8 joules uh, plus k4. Okay, so bring over 12.8, and we have that the uh, 12.8 joules is equal to the kinetic energy object. So that's equal to 1 half our mass. and then times our velocity squared. Okay, so then this comes out to have uh, velocity is equal to 16.87 meters per second at position four. Okay, so that's A. Uh, B, we need to figure out the acceleration of the object. So we're given the potential energy function here and I know there's a relationship between the force and the potential energy, and that's going to be uh, force is equal to a negative d or dx, the potential energy. Okay, and I know how to relate that to that relate that force uh, to the acceleration. So that's is equal to mass times acceleration. So it's easy enough to figure out what this derivative is and divide by mass to find the acceleration. Okay, so the negative d over dx of the potential energy. So I'm going to uh, bring down the 2. So that's negative a2x, reduce power from 2 to 1. And then plus um, b, bring down the 3. 3, reduce this power to 2. Okay, and then that's going to be equal to 2ax uh, minus 3bx squared. Okay, so then that force is equal to mass times acceleration. So we write that the acceleration at point 4 is equal to the force at point 4 
divided by the mass. Okay, so then we get uh, 1 over the mass uh, times 2a4 minus 3b4 squared. And that comes out to be 17.8 uh, meters per second squared. Okay, so that's the acceleration. And then C, what is the maximum value of x reached by the object during its motion? So if we were to plot this uh, on a 2D graph, what the potential energy function looks like, it would look something uh, like it looks something like this. It would reach a max at 0 down and up at some point over here. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to find out what the maximum value of x is. And to do that, we simply just need to set the potential energy equal to 0 and find out what x solutions uh, are possible. We know that x, that x equals 0 should be 1. Uh, so let's see what we get. We have u of x equals 0. And that's equal to ne negative a x squared minus b x cubed. We can factor that out. We have x squared, negative a plus b x. So we know that one solution of x is 0. So we can factor that out and divide by x squared. And we just get 0 is equal to negative a plus bx, and that gets a solution of a over b. So that's 2 divided by 0 0.3, and we get 6.66 .66 to be a solution uh, for where it reaches it, or for where it reaches the maximum value of x right there. And that's our solution.